Hey, what's going on? This is Derek L. I figured I'd like, uh, give you guys some tips, especially if you're going with your lead driver or your co-driver. Um, some things I wish people had told me and made my life easier, so I'm going to tell you. Let's get right after it. Um, hey, number one, you got to watch the back of your trailer. You already know when you go back, but when you're going forward and you're making turns, get in the habit always watching those mirrors to see where the back of your trail is going because number one golden rule don't hit shit that's why you're looking at those mirrors okay bam number two new u-turns as tempting as it may seem you're not going to make a u-turn usually you're not going to have enough space just keep going to the next stop wherever you can like make it go in and come around because if you make a u-turn number one if a cop sees you you're screwed Number two, if you're trying to make that turn, you hit the back up and go again, a car comes, bam, accident, you're a professional driver, you're screwed, no you U-turns, all right? Um, hey, a lot of times at those construction sites, when it's really tight, just used to bug me out. I'd be like, oh shit, you're in this big truck. A lot of times that mirror on the side, the front side that's attached to the hood, if you skate that on the line, that left line, you just skate that, you're always gonna stay in your lane. Next time you're in like a tight construction spot, there's that concrete barrier, you're like, oh shit, try that. Try to skate that, that mirror right there on the line. It's going to keep you in your lane. All right. Hey, um, hey, here's a good one. Hey, when you're trying to back into the spot, a trucking spot, you know, this is a good one. Kind of A side. Show me this one too. My boy Ace, what's up? Say you're driving, always try to stay like, you know, kind of close to the trucks. Okay, um, what is that, like about two feet, whatnot? But then, once you get past, your shoulder gets past that spot you want to go into, you make a hard right, you go to your 12 o'clock, then you make that hard left, and then by that time, the tail of your, your trailer should be right in the spot. Then you just, boom, back that bad boy in. It's not going to be exact, at least it'll give you some like idea of where you're going to turn to get in there, because I didn't know. It was like trial and error. So you go past that spot, once your shoulder gets past the spot, bam, hard right to your 12 o'clock, bam, hard left. And then you look in the back till you see that trailer point towards the spot, then back that bad boy in. Bam. Um, here's another one. Oh, always take the easiest route. Okay, don't back in the spot. If you don't have to, if there's a spot you can pull in, pull it. Always take the easiest route. Um, I already told you about getting out. Look. Yeah, look. Oh, Jake brakes. Make sure your Jake brakes are working. Because I'm in this, this truck at this new place. Man, just say you push on like three. I've been on the biggest hills. These jake brakes work. Your ass slows down. The freight line I used to be on, man, we had those jake brakes on, and our ass would still be, we start burning brakes, you know? Make sure your jake brakes work. I know the old school guys are, hey, when I was driving, I didn't have jake brakes. Hey, we didn't grow up in that time. We grew up where they had jake brakes. Use the bad boys, because they work. Make sure yours work, all right? Uh, hey, tell people you're new. A lot, yo, a lot of times when I started out, and especially back in or coming in or going in shippers, wherever. I just, hey, hey guys, man, yeah, I've been trucking for like, you know, a couple months now. When people know and you're up front, you're just like smiling, hey, man, hey, yeah, I just started, they'll help you. Like almost no one has not helped me. They always help you. And they're like, oh yeah, I remember I was doing, but when you're sitting there trying to do stuff yourself, you're gonna think, oh, this guy think he can do everything himself, fuck him, they're not gonna help you. Ask for help, tell them you're new, okay? That's my advice. Uh, let me see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, GPS. Yo, I found a good GPS. It's called Trucker Path. Go to the Google Play. Download it. It's called Trucker Path. Nine ninety nine. I pay a month because I'm getting one for my boy. It's hooking me up. But in the meantime, I need one. You can put in your height, the width, everything, bridges. Um, it's been good to me so far. I haven't hit shit. So Trucker Path. Download it on the app. Uh, another thing, you might want to get a mallet. A lot of times you won't be able to slide your tandems because those pins won't go in. You get a mallet, bam, 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 hit that bad boy, the pins will go in, then you can slide your tandems. Uh, okay, so we got that, got that. I think I got everything. Uh, when you're at a dock and they're loading you, take those chocks, put them underneath the tire so the truck doesn't move. But when you leave, make sure you take it out a couple times. I forgot. I think I didn't like blow out a tire. So those chocks, boom, put it on. Bam, take it off before you leave. Hey, last thing. Um, oh, manual versus automatic. When you stopped on a hill. And the manual, you let your foot off the clutch, the truck starts going. You do that on the automatic, the truck's going to back up. Hey, ran out of time before, so hopefully all these tips help you out. You know, hey, the main thing, like I said, just like watch your, your uh, trailer. Um, make sure you get out and look.
don't hit shit. Take everything slow. You're gonna be all right, man. Good luck to everyone. Hope you do well. Make some money. Dirt over the flow. Gotta go. Peace.